Endeavor OS is often considered by many as the best Arch Linux distribution. But why? In this video, we are going to talk about what makes Endeavor OS so great of a Linux distro and why you should install it, no matter if you are a beginner or an experienced Linux user. This is Endeavor OS in 7 minutes. Endeavor OS was created after a popular distribution Antergos, which was notorious for being as close to plain Arch as you can get, shut down in 2019. However, Antegros left a friendly and helpful community behind, which quickly moved to Endeavor OS. Endeavor OS is oriented on, quote-unquote, a Linux user with an intermediate level of knowledge who likes to handle a system that needs hands-on customization from the get-go. However, the system is user-friendly enough to be suitable even for absolute beginners. Since Endeavor OS is as close to plain Arch as you can get without, well, using plain Arch, it's a very light distro with around 700 packages, and yay, and Firefox, along with some sound, network and graphics configurations, being the only things that differ from a plain Arch installation. However, the installation process is where Endeavor really shines. Apart from a graphical Calamaris installer, which is also present in distros like Manjaro and Garuda, you get to choose between the offline and online installation options. The offline option just installs the system which is on the ISO with the XFCE desktop. However, the online option gives you a possibility to choose among a variety of desktop environments like XFCE, GNOME, Mate, Cinnamon, Plasma, Budgie, LXQT, i3 Window Manager, BSP Window Manager, and Sway. What's interesting is that apart from the same Garuda and Manjaro, which have multiple ISOs for each desktop environment, Endeavor only has one ISO, which allows you to install all of the 10 flavors from GNOME to Sway. Endeavor also supports better FS and EXT4 file system types, so the choice is up to you. Hey, before we continue with the video, I want to play a game with you. Press that like and subscribe button right now, and if you don't find this video useful by the end of it, you can always unsubscribe, remove the like, and even take one back. Enjoy the video. One of the first things you see after booting your fresh Endeavor OS install is their welcome app, which gives you basic information about the system along with a list of things you should do after the install. The app also has an assistant, which teaches you how to use Linux in general, and some tips for working with Endeavor, which may be a useful introduction to Arch commands for a new Linux user. Oh, and also there is a list of potentially useful apps. Apart from the welcome tool, you also get a possibility to install Endeavor OS apps info tool, which offers you documentation on how to customize different parts of your system, like Grub, for example, as well as notifies you when your system needs updating. Also, the mention about Welcome App introduces you to another huge part of Endeavor OS, their community. That's right, the same community that came to Endeavor OS after Antegor OS quit existing. Endeavor has their own Telegram channel, subreddit, and their own forum, where a ton of cool people will help you without just typing RTFM. Moreover, you can find a ton of tutorials on different aspects of Linux on their official website, which makes the system a great learning tool for beginners. So this is the part of the video where I talk about my own experience using Endeavor OS after about a month of usage. You may remember from my previous video about Garuda Linux, which if you didn't you should check it out, just saying, where I said that I am really happy with Garuda and I don't plan on moving anytime soon. Well, Garuda didn't think so and killed itself after a month, so I had to move to Endeavor OS. And as a result I am currently dual booting Windows 10 and Endeavor OS with GNOME desktop environment and i3 window manager. I chose Endeavor due to a simple principle. The less components your system has, the more reliable it is. And since I know how reliable Arch is due to this principle, 
I chose Endeavor because it's simply just Arch, but with easier installation and more comfortable services. And the fact that Calamaris allows you to install multiple desktop environments and window managers makes Endeavor OS incredibly easy to install, apart from Manjaro and Veruda, where you have to download a separate ISO for a separate flavor or install them manually. You even have an option to choose a different kernel type, as well as stuff like printer drivers and much more. Also, the choice between ext4 and better file systems gives you the opportunity to integrate proper safe time shift snapshots like Garuda does. I also like the fact that the system is as open for your custom configurations and theming as Arches, but Endeavor team even helps you with that by providing pre-installed theming for flavors like XFCE and i3 Window Manager. What's also cool is that they provide really good tutorials and explanations on their website wiki about things like kernels, AUR, NVIDIA, etc., which are useful resources even for an experienced Linux user. Generally, working on Endeavor is pleasing. It's a great daily system. Endeavor is light and doesn't feel very bloated like Garuda did. You actually feel like you control your system and there aren't any risky processes happening without you knowing. The system is very fast and responsive in all of the aspects. It also works great with a combination of AMD and Nvidia, which is where some distros like Manjaro struggled and gave a ton of audio and driver problems. To sum up Endeavor OS, I'd say it's arch when you are lazy. I think it's the best way to describe this distro. Alright, now that we are done with the video, I wanted to talk to you guys for a bit. First of all, I wanted to thank you all for your support on my recent videos and my channel in general. What you've been doing is incredible to me, and uh, you already support me just by watching this video right now. Also, I want to mention that I am currently working on my biggest project so far, which is a 2D puzzle game in Godot. I plan to release the devlog about it here on this channel, and I really hope for your support on it as well. The devlog will be coming out in around a month, or two, or maybe three, so be ready. Also, if you want to support me more, as well as get some benefits for yourself, I created a Patreon, which includes benefits like my video notes, access to my Discord server, shoutouts, and more. If you're interested in that, link will be in the description. Thanks for watching! Like, comment, follow me on GitHub and subscribe for more Linux.